Hey guys, we are in Luke Air Force Base, I think, Goodyear, West Valley, uh, we just built the store. So the client has a master bedroom, they have a door between their bedroom and bathroom, but then there was no door between the bathroom area and the closet. So I just had the closet organizer made by uh, DEA in Tempe, it looks great, they wanted to be able to keep like some things hidden. So, we built a door, we hung it off of a flush mount rail that goes to the ceiling, and then black hardware, we custom built this black handle, and the door is just a single panel door, so it's huge. It's almost nine feet tall, three feet wide. They wanted it to rest perfectly on this wall when it's fully open, and then most of the time they're gonna keep it shut. So, this is what it looks like shut. Rolls perfect, nice and smooth. We put that there as a dual purpose, so it's a towel holder and a handle. So I shall demonstrate this for you. Boom. Very stinking cool. So you got double the towels in there, you can shut it off. It looks really, really good. So, And the client now has something they need support uh, standing up. Uh, they can grab this and help them standing up. So. It's not like ADA approved or anything, but it's a nice little extra. So that store turned out great. Big, beautiful single panel. Thanks again to Eric for referring me to this job at DEA. If you guys need any closet stuff done too, let me know. And, uh, or reach out to Eric at DEA. Kitchens and more, or closets or closets and kitchens and more. <laughs> anyway, that's number one for today. Number two is coming up. It did. <laughs> uh, if you got here at 10, it's 1041. So pretty pretty good amount. The only thing that's unusual about this store really is this client has a 45 degree wall. So we have to make the rail a little bit different, not, not too terribly. There are no holes in our rails when we install them. So we drill all the holes where the studs are. Um, so it's super strong. It's not going anywhere. This is a tricorn black satin finish. Um, Chevron style door. It looks exactly the same front and back. We'll check that out in a minute here. Black hardware, black, this is my standard black 12 inch handle, black stay roller. So everything's perfect. So when they have someone sleeping in bed and someone gets up earlier than the other, there is no, uh, no disturbing with the light. So no light gets through. Let's go inside and check it out. Here we are on the inside of the bathroom. Um, you can see because that wall is a little bit shorter, if we have an overlap, probably four inches on that. Uh, it still gives you plenty of room to get through the door, but that was compromised on that. And then when it's shut, you got this little finger hole here. Oftentimes we get the question, what's on the back side of that handle? It's a finger hole, so it goes in the door, or I'm sorry, on the door like that, like a plate. And then there you go. So when the door is shut, looks identical as when the door is open. Uh, you just have this little archway. Um, but other than that, pretty straightforward door. And it's super nice in the fact that it's not gonna allow that light through. So when someone, this bathroom has been really nice to remodel, uh, but when someone's taking a nice shower, you're not looking directly at the person in bed. So there you go. Have a good one, we'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, welcome to Phoenix. We just did this set of steel doors and they turned out great. Right. A um, couple of steel sliding doors here. We do a lot of the interior mount doors that bypass each other. This client wanted something that was gonna give them a bigger opening and 
be able to kind of take up this whole wall. So what we did, the distance on this wall and this wall are not the same. So we had to work off of this one. So we basically set the stopper so this door is fully open and then we equaled it out on this side. So it doesn't fully open on this side, but then it gives a balance, um, which I like the symmetry of it being balanced. There is a flange on this side. The client opted to have the flange on the inside rather than the outside on this. We welded it on four handles. So when the door is shut, It does reduce the noise a little bit in there, um, make it for a nicer home office. So I don't know if you can tell the difference in my volume, but that was um, speaking and not speaking in there. And then, yeah, basically have a stopper in the middle here. We did do a thicker rail. This is a little bit thicker material on the rail just to handle the weight of the steel and glass. Two end stops, two welded on handles, um, this client wanted a little bit taller, uh, dog and baby, then maybe not getting as much fingerprints and nose prints on the glass. And yeah, turned out really good. It's a nice space right at the front of the house. And uh, I think it looks awesome. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.